Our planet holds many secrets, some buried deep beneath our feet. Among these is a super soil known as Terra Praetor, and it has the potential to change history both in the past and our futures. The origins of Terra Praetor, this super soil, has been a subject of fascination for over a century. Its existence was first noted in the late 19th century, but it was Wim Sobrek, a Dutch soil scientist, who brought it to international attention in the 1960s. Over the years, sites rich with Terra Preta have been found scattered across 6% of Amazonia, covering tens of thousands of square kilometres. Terra Preta has many mysteries, we don't know the civilization who created the supersoil, nor do we fully know how it was made. What we do know is some of the techniques on how to make it. The foundational ingredient, for example, is biochar, a form of charcoal created when organic material such as plant matter is burned at low temperatures in a low oxygen environment. The biochar not only provides a rich source of carbon, but it also acts as a sponge capturing and holding onto nutrients and water. Beyond the biochar, ancient Amazonians enriched the soil with a variety of organic materials, plants, fish bones, animal manure, and even pottery shards. The broken pottery, commonly found in Terra Preta soils, has raised intriguing questions. Some scientists believe the pottery shards might have played a role in aerating the soil or hosting beneficial microbes or fungi. A crucial and mystifying element of Terra Preta is its microbial life. The soil is teeming with a diverse community of bacteria and fungi, which play an essential role in its ability to regenerate its fertility. Some researchers speculate that the indigenous people might have unknowingly or knowingly introduced beneficial microbes, turned the soil into a thriving ecosystem. However, despite our advances in technology and understanding, the precise recipe and process to recreate Terra Preta remains elusive. The exact combination of long-term fertility, carbon storage and water retention seen in the Amazon's Terra Preta remains a puzzle. This only underscores the sophistication and depth of knowledge possessed by the ancient Amazonians and challenges our current understanding of sustainable agriculture. The presence of Terra Preta has radically changed our perception of the pre-Columbian history of the Amazon Basin. Mainstream historians refuse to believe stories from early European explorers. For many years, these reports were often dismissed as exaggerated tales or mere myths. In the 1540s, explorer Gaspar de Caval described encounters with vast and densely populated regions along the riverbanks. A sharp contrast to the sparsely populated Amazon that later explorers would find. Caval repeatedly noted, There was one settlement that stretched for five leagues without there intervening any space from house to house. That's 12 to 20 miles in length. That's the size of Manhattan Island, which is 13.4 miles long. Caval saw another settlement with many fine highways to the inland country. One highway so wide as to deter the Spaniards from following for fear of what might be found at the end. And yet another settlement. That must have been more than two leagues long. Five Ituamichimi with many roads leading into the interior. Another explorer, Cristobal de Tristian de Acuna, wrote that the famous river of Amazons, which traverses the richest, most fertile and most densely populated regions of Peru, and made comparisons with the Ganges, the Euphrates, and the Nile. The river of Amazons waters more extensive regions, fertilizes more plains, supports more people, and augments by its floods a mightier ocean. He too spoke of infinity of Indians, and in the domain of Ogmegeus, which extended for 200 leagues, that's about 500 to 800 miles, there were settlements so close together that one is scarcely lost sight of when another comes in view. The discovery of Terra Preta has provided evidence that these stories might have had a foundation in reality. It hints at the extensive, advanced, large-scale societies that lived in the Amazon 
long before the European conquest. These societies acted from around 450 AD to 1500 AD, displayed remarkable knowledge of farming, land management and urban planning as inferred from the Terra Preta and associated archaeological findings, as well as showing that there was a large enough food production to sustain these populations. So instead of this pristine wilderness, the Amazon emerges as a historical tapestry of human innovation, resilience and adaptation. The rediscovery of Terra Preta has two significant meanings, both of the past and the future. It's a testament to ingenuity of ancient civilizations. It confirms the reports, in my opinion, of Caval and Hakuna, and also it's a beacon of hope for future sustainability. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to look at my book, What to Do in Oxford and Imagination Tour, available at Amazon, Blackwells, W. Smith, and all good bookstores. If you'd like to help out the channel, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.